Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in, this is Roundhouse Rob, the success sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 293, Incremental Success. It's the Success Sensei Podcast main event. Incremental Success. Yes, it's very important to think think bigger than most of us probably think, to have a look at your goals and to try to expand them beyond what our conscious is telling us is achievable. It is important to think big. Imagine aiming for your goals and aiming too low. You would be upset. You would have regret. So certainly aim a bit beyond yourself. But this is where you fall down. And that is, you know, becoming overwhelmed by the big steps that you think are necessary in order to achieve those big and large goals. It's not big steps that are needed. It's incremental steps. It's focusing on the small steps because they add up very quickly to a large overall goal. So it stops a lot of people from starting a big project or a big goal or a big wish or a big plan is knowing and and thinking that big action has to happen. But that big action does not have to happen all in one go. That's the overwhelming bit. That's the bit that can frustrate you and make you give up. If you can make any big strides, absolutely you do but it's made up of all these small decisions that you make on a day-to-day basis. Small steps compound. They, you know, small gains compound. Um, and they compound on each other to create massive change over time. Uh, it's like ripples in the water. And um, they'll keep rippling out and expanding. And we're talking about basically gaining momentum because one goal can lead to another goal. Those individual small steps and those small action steps that you take, they in and of themselves might create further action steps um, and, and get you that momentum, that valuable momentum to help carry you towards your goal. There's a common expression of, you know, trying to, improve yourself trying to get one percent better every day so i think it's a it's a good thing to focus on because one percent is very achievable for most everybody can say that they can improve themselves by one percent some small action reading a book researching something doing an activity learning something you know one percent better every day and if you did that every day for 100 days Yes, that's 100% better. You're virtually a completely different person if you became 100% better than you currently are in 100 days. That's a massive improvement and beyond. Look, it's just, you know, an analogy. It's just a story. You don't actually have to even improve 1% better every day. It could be 0.1% as long as you're focused on constant Um, incremental success, constant incremental steps towards what you wish to achieve. Taking too large steps and focusing on steps that are too big can lead to frustration, which ultimately can make you give up, can lead to burnout, can, because you can be stressed out and full of anxiety, trying to take steps that are too large in that particular moment, can lead to boredom, um, when it doesn't actually happen for you, your your steps are too big and it doesn't actually happen. You can become bored with your goal, especially when it's not working out and the, the larger steps don't work. 
Uh, the lack of recognition as well, by, by looking around and wondering why it hasn't happened for you yet, why you don't have hordes of adoring fans, why you don't have big chests full of riches. You know, get used to making small gains which aren't recognized by others. Make Get used to secret success, underground success. Uh, keep building small successes to a level where eventually they're large enough that they can't actually be affected by others. So other people couldn't stop your success if they wanted to. So don't be looking for that recognition and um, get your, your success in, in silence. Keep building those small steps. Don't be trying to make large strides to try to impress others because you're on a bad path. Well, you're not on your own path and you're not concentrating on your own goals. If, you know, your whole objective is to impress someone else. Again, we overestimate. We've said this loads of times. I'm not the only one to say it and certainly not the one to invent it. But we do under or sorry, uh, overestimate what we can achieve in a short period of time. And we underestimate what can be achieved over a long period of time. So, again, the whole premise of that um, is that we're trying to make you know, far too large actional steps at the start and early on over a short period of time instead of concentrating on slow but steady gains. Do something to improve yourself every day, something small to improve towards what it is that you want to improve. So have in your mind what it is you want to achieve, whether it's an experience, whether it's um, uh, material possession, whether it's to do with skill or knowledge, whether it's to do with physical ability, a new hobby, uh, it can be anything that relates to you, but do something small every day to improve it. Continuous improvement is basically what we're talking about. And it, while that might appear to be very, very simple, why don't most people do it? Because the simple fact is they don't. Another word which which um, is really, really important is consistency. Above all else, consistency. Above natural talent, above anything else, consistency is the key. Dogged, incremental, constant progress over a very long time frame. Might not sound sexy, might not sound, um, you know, amazing, but that is the secret. If there is a secret, dogged, incremental, constant progress over a very long time frame. So think of a heavy freight train. It gains speed very slowly, like something like one mile an hour increase every couple of seconds. But after a few minutes, it is flying at great speed and very hard to stop. So think of your own goals. Think of yourself like a freight train on your own path towards whatever it is that you want to achieve. Break it down into the smallest of manageable, actionable steps on a daily basis. And then consistently, ruthlessly and doggedly every day follow that path and continue to improve and keep that going. And even though I've said over a very long period of time, it won't even be that long. It won't even feel that long, especially if you're remaining true to your goal and it's something that you really want to do that there's a you have a valid reason behind it and you may actually enjoy it as well and if you do enjoy the path that you're on the time will absolutely fly by uh, so concentrate on the small steps to get to the big goal how are your goals going so far this year i hope you haven't given up on them if you have revisit them revitalize them Pivot, change them, do what you have to do to get yourself uh, reinvigorated. Just simply looking at your goals written down should motivate you. They should give you that self-discipline in order to carry them out. They should excite you just looking at them. If they don't, they're the wrong goals 
are they're not big enough? Are they're not focused enough? So make sure you're constantly revising them again on a daily basis. Now, what does 1% better every day mean? Well, it might mean opening up the book and, and attempting to read a few lines, a few paragraphs of something that you know if you study will make you better. It can be something small. If you can break it down to, to small action steps, it makes it a hell of a lot more, more achievable. So if you're looking to study something, start with opening the book. Start with opening the laptop and just doing 10 minutes. Something that you know is achievable and you can do. If you try to torture yourself and say to yourself, I'm going to do three hours nonstop study and, you know, you're not used to doing it, you're setting yourself up for failure. Plus, your subconscious and your conscious know that that's grueling enough task and you'll find every excuse to do something else to distract you away from actually doing what you want to do. So in order to beat that procrastination, start with something simple. Sit down with a pen and a paper if your objective is to write and plan on writing just the title or starting with a few lines. It doesn't have to be grueling. Once you start something like that freight train, you will gather momentum and a little bit every day adds up to a lot. That is the secret. It's not glamorous. If you're looking for the spoils of war, if you're looking for the glamour, that's the very final uh, pinnacle of actually achieving um, your goal. It's bypassing and, and neglecting and not even looking at any of the hardship along the way. It's just focusing on the rewards. So it's like a pyramid. What you see is only a fraction uh, um, of the hardship that it took to get there. So with any success you see in other people, whatever trappings of wealth they have, whatever lifestyle you envision that they have, whatever experiences, knowledge, etc. That's only the tip of the iceberg. Um, at least three quarters below the surface of the water was the constant incremental changes and pursuance of, of knowledge and, you know, sticking to the path and just, just sheer grind that people don't see and don't acknowledge when they're imagining the success or they're, or they're visualizing some, their own success or someone else's success. So keep in mind, slow and steady wins the race. Hopefully that's given you a little bit more motivation this week. Let me know how you're getting on. Let me know how your goals are doing. Let me know how you're doing. Um, I'd love to hear from you anytime. Hit me up through the successsensei.com. Thank you for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.